Welcome to our online tutorial, Frankfurt Portal, the gateway to your literature research. We would like to give you a short introduction to the content and functions of our library portal. The user interface searches the university library's catalogue, which comprises more than 9 million media and numerous databases. With just one step, you can search for books and also articles embedded in journals, many of which are in full text. Start your search from the English version of the University Library's homepage via the following link and choose Frankfurt Portal. Here you switch again to the English language interface. A simple search option is given on the start page. You can type in many keywords which are automatically linked with each other. For example, you can search according to author, title or even theme. Let's take the topic of bilingual education. So we type in these words. An automatic process makes suggestions for possible search terms. The search then runs parallel in two sections, resulting in respective hit lists. You proceed to the catalogue of the University Library via the tab Books and More. Here are printed and electronic titles, which are in stock in the Central Library and the various departmental libraries. Look under the tab Articles and More for full text articles, ebooks, and bibliographic references from numerous databases which the University Library has licensed. This will save you a lot of time searching individual databases and having to use the various interfaces. First of all, let's proceed to the hits in Books and More. This is the part which corresponds to the content of the former online catalogue, OPAC. The great number of hits results from the wide search covering contents, lists and abstracts. Furthermore, phonetically similar sounding terms as well as concepts with the same root will also land in the hits list. Sorting by relevance should make sure that the most interesting titles for you appear at the top, but with such unspecific search terms, as in our case, you can restrict the number of hits afterwards by using the following facets. Perhaps it is important for you to only look at online media, or that which is physically available, or you select under Department the stocks of a specific library of Goethe University. Under Subject, you can manoeuvre your search in a certain direction by selecting a subject. By Author, you can select a certain author to find primary and secondary literature or you are interested in a certain format of publication, for example, a doctoral thesis. By language, you can restrict the list to titles of a certain language. Year of publication enables you to enter a period when the publication appeared. It is also possible to moderate the hit list according to other criteria than relevance, for example, according to year of publication. When you do this, though, more current, rather than relevant, titles will be at the top. Let's get back to our example. Now we restrict the search to the years of publication 2008 to 2014, as we only want current literature. Then let's look at the subject areas given. The number in brackets denotes how many hits are in each area. The areas are sorted according to the number of hits decreasing. We decide on the subject area of education, pedagogy. If you select more than one area, you get all the hits which are related to one or the other area. If you would like to exclude a facet or an area, click on the tick again or on remove filters in order to lift all filters. The availability display shows immediately which titles are momentarily available, only available on site, or are already checked out. You can see at a glance if the literature is available as a full text version, and you can access it immediately, provided that you already logged in. We select, for example, the title Bilingual Education in the 21st Century. Click on your chosen title, 
to call up detailed information and to find out where your media is located. First of all, we are shown information on the publication, author, extent and publisher and can also call up the list of contents, Inhaltsverzeichnis, in order to decide whether the work is indeed of any interest. In the lower part, information is given where a copy of the title is available and what the current loan status is. The status usually reveals whether you can take the media out on loan or not. If the title is part of the stocks of the Central Library, Centralbibliothek, you usually have to place a hold on the title. The reason is that the Central Library in Bockenheim has some 6 million items which, for logistical reasons, are not in open access. You decide where you wish to pick your ordered item up, type in your user card number and your password and send it off. If you don't have a user card, you can put in your order with this form. In departmental libraries, the stocks are in open access, so there is no need to place a hold. If you need to find out where the libraries are located, just click on the name of the library. You'll be directed to the address, opening times and such. Should the title you want already be out on loan, you can reserve it. Follow the link Recall This in order to establish when the loans period ends for the current borrower and then type in your user card number and password. You will automatically receive a mail when the book is available for you if an email address is stored in your user account. Detailed search options are in the advanced search. If you have any questions about using the portal, please contact the information desks of the University Libraries personally, by phone or just send an email. Thanks for listening and good luck with your search.